Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with yours truly, the Knights of Horror. Today we're talking about more horror movie mistakes, and this time we're talking about The Conjuring's horror movie mistakes. Now, a lot of the mistakes I've caught are either just something that someone didn't notice when filming this movie, or something that is just kind of slight and stupid, but I caught them. Um, I've watched various videos on them, I've done my research on them, and it is, it is funny. So today we're talking about uh, 10 Conjuring movie mistakes. And let's get started. Uh, when Roger is investigating the house, he sees the door to the kitchen is cracked open. It is open nearly all the way, but in the next shot, the door is nearly closed. So Roger, of course, looking around the house uh, just to make sure all the equipment's good. And the door does like a little thing where it cracks open and it goes all the way. Well, in the very next shot, the door is just barely cracked and then he opens it. So yeah, someone didn't notice that, obviously. Uh, the outline of what looks like a smartphone can clearly be seen on Caroline's back pocket. Yeah, so when Caroline's walking out with one of her kids and the family, you see her walking out in her back pocket, you can see the outline of what looks like a smartphone. If that movie's supposed to be taking place in the 70s, I doubt there were smartphones. When Judy covers her ears, her hands are under her hair, but in the next shot, her hands are over her hair. So uh, there's a scene where I guess it gets really loud for Judy and she starts covering her ears and um, she covers them under her hair but in the very next shot it's over her hair so a little, little something that I caught. When looking at the bedroom, we clearly see three windows in the room. When the windows are seen from the outside, only one window is lit up despite all three being in the same room. So this scene obviously takes place when the dog is barking very loud and we do look up and we see that there is three windows in the room from the inside and there's lights everywhere reflecting but when we look at the ho house from the outside in that same room those three windows only one's lit up and two are not so that's interesting to me uh, maybe they just it was just a lighting error When Anna Lorraine are driving to the parents' house for the first time, you can see that the leaves are green. It looks like late spring or summer, but Ed stated it's November 1st. Certainly leaves would have been fall color already. My name is Ed Warren. It's November 1st, 1971. So yeah, um, when they're driving to the house for the first time to uh, launch their investigation to see what's going on, um, you see like a lot of the scenery and stuff, like the leaves and stuff are all kind of, it's all, it's all very green outside and stuff like that. Well, if it's supposed to be in November, that's around fall time, it should be a whole different color, it should be like orange, red, stuff like that. Um, and he states that it's in November 1st in his um, in his recording as he starts recording, so I found that a little interesting, but you know. In the early 70s, smoke detectors would have been uh, beehive shaped. The ones in the movie are more modern disc shaped smoke detectors. So yeah, there's a scene where um, little girl Judy is walking around in the basement or something like that and you see one of these smoke detectors up top it is disc shaped those are the current ones what they look like in today's um, today's era uh, in the 70s they looked more of like a bee shaped beehive shaped uh, size so yeah something like that when April and Carolyn are playing hide and clap the blindfold on Carolyn keeps moving in between shots. So yeah, when they're playing the game Hide and Clap, you see the blindfold end up in one place and then it moves to another place. Uh, so yeah, it just ends up moving in between shots, most likely because they were taking breaks in between shots and they had to keep putting it back on and stuff like that, so that makes sense. When Ed puts away the music box, the camera shadow can be seen on the left side of the shelf. So uh, Ed gets the music box at the end of the movie uh, for The Conjuring and he puts it into his paranormal uh, research um, room and he ends up uh, you know, just setting it on a shelf. Well, you can actually see the camera shadow on the left as it's panning over and panning back. So 
simple mistake. The family discovers a surprise basement due to, the, due to some kid's uh, uh, horse plane. But you can see later in the movie that there are windows to the basement and a furnace with for the and a furnace for the radiators is also in the basement. So I don't know how no one didn't notice that there was a basement, even though there's windows leading to the basement, and the furnace is ultimately in the basement for the radiators. So they had to assume there was a basement, and they just discovered it in the movie, which was honestly kind of weird to me. The real Bathsheba. Sherman was suspected of a witchcraft and killing of an uh, infant child, but her name was legally cleared after being found not guilty by the court of law. She died of natural causes in 1885, not by hanging as the movie portrays. She is buried in uh, Harsville, R.I. So yeah, the, the witch they have in here, um, Beth Sheba, she actually got uh, cleared of her charges and she was actually just cut, died of natural causes. In the movie though, they twisted up the... Um, they twisted up the story a little bit and made it seem like she got hung for her crimes against uh, what she went for and so yeah that's why they kind of changed that up a little bit which is not really a mistake I guess but it's kind of their way of taking a new take on the tale anyway. And that is going to do it for all 10 of movie mistakes in The Conjuring. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it was always fun making these videos and stuff like that. Uh, tune in next week. Tonight, next week we're going to do another episode of Horror Icon Mashup where I asked you guys on Twitter who would win in a fight, Freddy Krueger or Pinhead, and that is who we're going to be talking about next week on Horror Icon Mashup. So I will see you guys next week. I'll see you guys later. Bye.